Hey YouTube, so today I thought I would play with Azure Synapse Link for Cosmos. I don't just love green screens. Okay, so what is Azure Synapse for Cosmos DB? So it's a way of when you insert your data into your Cosmos database, um, it goes into kind of a row store, so all your JSON is all stored in there. It will automatically turn it into an analytical store, a column store, and then a link is set up so we can query it from SQL on demand or query it from Spark. So, well, let's see how hard it is to set up. And I say that having set it up three or four times and, and messed it up. All right, first of all, let's create a Cosmos DB account. So let's add one. Let's call it one, two, three. Synapse link. Okay. I'm going to choose SQL Core. You can choose um, Cosmos D, uh, DB for Mongo API. I think these are the only two that it works on. Um, I can choose that on, doesn't matter. West US is where my Synapse is. I'm using provisioned. Um, I couldn't get it working with serverless. I don't know why. I think it's just the preview of serverless and the preview of um, Synapse link. Everything else is happy. Hit create. And then it will go through and it will take a few minutes, seven minutes here to create. So I'll be back in seven minutes. Okay, that's done. Right, so now we'll go to it and we'll now go to features, see here, and then we need to enable it. And yeah, it takes a couple of minutes as well. Ah, that's done. Now I've got to create the database. So we hit new container. There we are, that's better. Okay, new container. And also gives us the ability to create a new database. So this stuff is coming from, I've got a client. I've just taken from some sample code. So the important bit is this, the analytical store. Make sure that's on and that is on by default. Now, if I create this programmatically, I found that that doesn't seem to turn on by default. That's obviously like a, a preview bug. So click OK. That should now go and create and be pretty quick. We'll wait for that to finish. See it here and then we see in settings. So if you look at an existing container and you don't see analytical stories time to live, then um, this hasn't been turned on. So you need to need to create a, either delete it or create and create a new one um, or just start again. But I found that um, doing it programmatically, as I said, that these weren't appearing. And so I had to create them manually by hand. Um, right, so it's done that. Perfect. No data in there. All right. So what I then did is I took found this article. And this actually talks you through all those steps of creating a um, Cosmos DB account and then creating a client to then insert some data. That's really all I wanted to do was insert some data and then I can then query it later. So there's a couple of bits of information that the client will need. And those are stored under keys. So I'm just going to copy that URI out and then I'm going to go and paste it into the client. And then I need to paste the key into the client as well. 
So if we go over to the client now, I can paste in my key. That's the endpoint, that was the name of the database, that was the name of the container. Let's save that. Let's do a .NET build. So in fact, this is the analytical stuff. It's not obviously in this build in the in the API that I've got. And I do dot net run. So if the database wasn't created, it would create it. If the storage account wasn't created, it would create it. And if they're already created, it just carries on. So now it should just start inserting some data. It's dummy data, but it just has um, an ID and a number at the end. So now I should just go to back to the Cosmos and query it. Back into Data Explorer, back into here. There we go. And then every time I can do, I can then do and do excuse it. So we should see that, and then that's all that data. We can actually see the record count from there. So it's eleven. And when we run it again, we should see now twelve because every so often it's just adding them in. So now it should be pushing it across to the Synapse workspace. So let's see whether that has worked. So what we'll do is we'll go into my Synapse workspace. We'll create, we'll go into develop. We will then go and just so you know, do this. New folder. So good. So good. Okay, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for a, a new query. So we're going to uh, add a new SQL script. We're going to call this um, Cosmos test. And then I'm going to pop a query into, into it. There are several parts to this. That is the name of the account that we had created. So Synapse link. Synapse link. That is the name of the database. Which is the name of the database there. And then that bit there is the name of the container. Which is the name of the container. If I've done this right, I'll either get two things. One is, ah, okay, I've got the secret, the key wrong. This bit here. So it was in West US 2, and I need to replace this key. So I need to go back to here. I need to go into keys. So obviously there'll be a more elegant way of doing this. Now, if I do this and I hadn't set up the analytical store first, I would get an error message to say this container is not set up analytical store. So, right. There we go. Now, stuff is coming through. I've got, what was that, 31. If I flick back to um, there, we should see that we're on... What are we up to? We're up to 47 has just been inserted. So now when we go back, 
I'll do a query again. It's still at 31. And if I keep, it takes about two minutes for the data to synchronize across. Now, considering that I've not set up any transformation, I've not set up anything at all. I've not set up ADF. I've not, I've just enabled the store, enabled it on the database, enabled it uh, on, sorry, in the account, then I enabled it on the container. It's just coming through. So what I can also do, because this is SQL on demand, I'm going to pick a database. I'm going to pick my on demand database. I can do things like create view, test view as. So I don't have something called test view. Okay, all right, they don't, good. So select account from test view. So it up to 51. I can do all the things I would do with SQL. I can do grouping, I can do counting. I can join it on something else. I can make Power BI. Now look at this. I can also use some JSON logic. Let me see if I put something pre-built. Something like this might work. Let me do this again, I think. That. I'm going to put it there. Oh, because I want a key in there. I could do some processing of these JSON objects. In line, see if it works. Yeah, so now I can pull the data out and make it look nice without having to worry about the data and the JSON, and that just works. You see, we're still inserting data. There's still okay. It's not even all. So it's not ordered. Oh, we can see that. Yeah, no, we're now at sixty, seventy something. So that is really simple and took um up to now the recording is 20 minutes so that took under 20 minutes from end to end so um enjoy and have fun playing with it's cosmos db and synapse link for cosmos db all right bye